Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about linear inequalities in two variables. Linear means uh, the graph of the equation is going to express uh, a line, a straight line on the graph on the coordinate plane, and having two variables means dealing with x and y. Th those are the most common variables. They could very well be like different letters, but the most common variables that we deal with in algebra one are x and y. So uh, if we have an inequality, uh, we, we need to shade some part of the graph. And that's the third uh, important component of this lesson. Step one, make sure to have the line. Step two, uh, make sure if you know whether it is a solid line or a dotted line. Step three, shade your area. That's it. So the first one, which of the following inequalities is graphed on the coordinate plane? Uh, I'll do this by hand first and then I will show you a simpler way uh, but that way is going to uh, need you to kind of plot all of these answers but uh, first we are gonna at least eliminate two of these answers because of the sign okay so as you see we have a solid red line right it, it doesn't like it's not like this it's not a dotted line it's a solid line that's what we have so if you have a straight line, your sign should be either greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. If you don't have that equal kind of thing underneath your sign, that cannot be your answer if you have a straight line. So this is gone because it doesn't have that equal sign. It means a dotted line. That means a dotted line. And this one here means you have a dotted line. So those two cannot be my answer now I have two options is it like y is less than or equal to 4x or more than or uh, greater than or equal to 4x so it's either one of them right you know it's either one of them now less than let's say let's assume that our answer is let me start with the wrong one first this is wrong so let's start with that let's say that's we, we think that this is our answer okay let's see how that would look like if that is my answer, this is the line that I deal with, right? The red line. The sign tells me what side of the line I need to shade, okay? So this is the point that I cross the y-axis. I, I usually look at that point. At what point does my line touch the y-axis? That's my question. And then the point is right there. Did I shade looking at the horizontal axis, this right here, looking at that? Did I shade below or above the point? So above the point is right here, but that area, this area is not shaded. That's just white. So, but if I go straight down, you need to move vertically. Okay, do not like look at any other uh, area. Just move straight up and straight down from that point of intersection of the y-axis and your line. But you see that this area is shaded that tells me my sign is going to be less than or equal to. So my inequality is going to look like y is less than or equal to whatever it is. Since they are both the same, I don't need to worry about whether it is going to be 4x or not because it must be 4x. I don't have any other option. So this would be my answer. Okay? And also the meaning of this is the slope is going to be 4 when you pick one point like 0 and then move up for right one you're going to end up with another point on the line. S and we did. So this will be our answer when we do this by hand. And process of elimination. Let's say I have no idea about inequalities, okay? And I want to do this question. So I don't know anything about the dotted lines. I don't know anything about the solid lines. I go to Desmos and then just type them in. Y is greater than 4x. Y is greater than 4x. So this definitely does not look like what I had in there because first off the line is the dotted line right here and just extend it like put the arrows and then the area that is shaded is on the left side of the line that has nothing to do this one has nothing to do with what I had so I would cross the first one off and then the second one is y is less than 4x now let's do this 
Now I have the line, the line is correct, however, I mean the shaded area is correct uh, because you can pick some points and then see if they work fine, like this point for example, one fourth, right? Uh, just find one point on your line, it is over one, up four, and then if you get on your question and if you go over one, up four, you stay on the line. The line point wise is right but the way the line is set up it is a dotted line that's not what I need it needs to be a dotted line everything looks fine except for the way the line is drawn so this should be less than or equal to and then I have my solid line it passes through the points that I want it to pass through and then the area that is shaded is below zero zero below that line below that point is shaded so that would be my answer which is C Okay, moving on to the next one. Mm, let's just get rid of that. Okay, so this question it passes the, through the origin right here. It's a solid line, so this sign cannot be my answer. That cannot be my answer. I need a solid line, which means my sign is either one of these two. And as you see, if you go vertical, did I shade the above that point or below that point above the point is shaded show, so my sign is going to be like that greater than or equal to that point so y is greater than or equal to there's only one option if you have only one option you don't need to worry about what your right side is going to be just pick that okay if you end up with more than one option when we cross the signs that is impossible then we can talk about how to figure the right side out so this one is going to be d and you can also type each one of these answers on Desmos and then see which graph is going to be the same. Make sure you pay attention to the points that the line is passing through plus the way that the line is set up. Is it a straight line or is it a dotted line? So question number three. Yeah, okay, graph the oops. Graph the following system of inequalities. So the the best way is just use Desmos and then uh, go back and forth, uh, compare your answers. That would be the easiest way. So, let's see. I see which one is going to be the answer. Okay. So, I'm thinking whether I need to do this by hand or just show you how to use Desmos. Let's just do it by hand first and then we will use Desmos. Okay, so the second equation, inequality, these are not equations, there's no equal sign. Uh, the second inequality looks more plain, so I want to start with that one first. X is greater than or equal to negative 4. So go to the x axis, find negative 4 right here, right here right here and right here your line should pass through that point so in y we don't have any line passing through negative 4 that cannot be my answer don't even worry about that answer okay and looking at the other options the lines are all the same the difference is in here we shaded to the left of the red line in here and here we shaded to the right side of the red line, right? Are we going to shade the left or right? That's the question now. So let's figure that out. The meaning of this is, let's just read it from left to right. X is greater than or equal to negative 4. What numbers are those? If, I, if my numbers are greater or equal to negative 4, those numbers could be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So all those numbers should be shaded for sure. Let's see at what side I have those numbers. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and then so on. And then those numbers are over here, and then over here, right, for the x because that says x is greater than or equal. x is on the horizontal axis and I just plotted those numbers. And clearly 
in X, those numbers are not shaded at all. Nothing. None of those numbers are shaded. It's just a plain white area. So that's not my answer. Nothing is shaded over here in that area. Partially shaded in W and Z. Now, there is a reason that, uh, that they are partially shaded. Instead of completely shading the whole thing to the right of that red line, straight line, some part of those uh, numbers are shaded because of the other inequality. That is kind of like pressing everything. So it's like bound, uh, those, these are kind of like our boundaries. And one of the boundaries is the red line. The other boundary is the blue line. Now, let's change the color and then talk about that blue line a little. So for the blue line, that's our starting point. Let's see, what's the difference? The lines are set up the exact same way. They start from negative 1. And then the meaning of slope is use that negative for one of the numbers. Rise over run. Negative number for rise means down. And then this is right. So go out down 3, right 4 from that green point. Down 3, right 4. 1, 2, 3, and then 4. You end up at that point. And then same thing over here. You stay on the line when you do that. Which means they are both right. And it is a dotted line because I do not have an equal sign. It is just less than. Now let's talk about the meaning of that less than sign. How am I going to decide what area I need to shade? It says y is less than blah, blah, blah. There's a negative 3 over 4x minus 1. I don't need to worry about that part. This is what I care. y is less than. y is the vertical line, right? So look at the point of intersection on that axis. It, it is negative 1, right? It's negative 1 in both of these. In one of them, I shaded below that point, which is W, and in the other one, which is Z, I shaded above that negative 1. Above that point is shaded for Z, below the point is shaded for W. Less than means shade below the point. shade below the y-intercept. Our y-intercept is negative 1. Underneath that point should be shaded right here. That area should be shaded and then according to the first inequality to the right of that red line should be shaded. So right of that red line below that blue line is just this area. So there are two different shading a shaded area, and then when we put them together, this is going to be the common area. It's going to be easier to see this on Desmos. Let's just plot them on Desmos. This is the easier way. Uh, the Desmos is the easier way, the one that I am about to do. Let's just get rid of everything on the screen, and then type the inequalities. Y is less than negative 3 over 4 times x minus 1 and then the second one is y x is greater than or equal to negative 4 let's change the color a little I, I just wanna if you long press it'll change the color okay let's do it this way now uh, I'll use the same color red for the second one, let's use red for this, and then blue for the first one. Okay, so the red area is right here. That's the red one. The whole thing, as much as your coordinate play plane let you draw, you, you need to draw the whole thing. Just shade the whole area. And then for the second one, for the second or for the first, in, okay, it all depends on how you look at it. This area should be shaded. Below that dotted line and then to the right side of the red line. And the area that they are meeting, that, that they are shading both together is right here. Oops, let's change the color once again. Right here. That would be where the blue and red are meeting. 
So if you see two colors are meeting at one place, that's your answer. So that area would be my answer. And then all you have to do is look at these two. The vertical line is solid. So all of you know that Y is not your answer if you're going to rely on Desmos. And then your dotted line goes down from top left to bottom right. And all of the answers does that. And then you're going to shade in between those two because those are that area is where the colors are meeting together so you're gonna shade the area in between them which is W okay and let's see this one here is the same uh, V shade below it is a solid line my sign is going to be less than or equal to there's only one answer that says that that should be my answer so these questions are pretty simple I'm taking kind of like forever to make sure that I explain everything that you need to know and these questions are exactly the same just type them on Desmos see which ones match or just think about the meaning uh, dotted line because you don't have an equal sign in the second one it's a solid line solid line passes through negative one dotted one passes through negative two so what kind of dotted lines are these? Okay, negative 2 is going to be a dotted line. This right here is a solid. X cannot be my answer. Let's cross it out. Uh, the one that passes through negative 2 here is a solid line. That cannot be my answer. Z is not the answer. It's either W or Y, right? Red one is solid. Blue one is dotted line. Now, the question is, what area am I going to shade? Uh, for the dotted line, it's going to be this right here. For the dotted line, we have greater than or equal. We got to shade above this point. Shade the points that are higher than negative 2. That, that's what I need to have. Shade the points that are higher on the vertical axis than negative 2. Negative 2 is up here. And above that point, right here is shaded. Negative 2 uh, is up here nothing over here is shaded there's no area that is shaded so this cannot be my answer it must be w process of elimination you don't need to solve the question like completely you don't need to like draw the lines at all just figure out the differences do check check for the signs and then the way that your line is ne needs to be set up and then you'll get all these questions right probably thanks for watching sorry that it took a while uh, but I really needed to explain how you can figure out the differences whether you rely on Desmos or you do it by hand and all these questions are exactly the same okay so thanks for watching and I will see you in another video let me know if you know if you have any questions